for Trey. No. When you see Oklahoma defensively, Pete, they are going to have a cushion to contain dribblers today defensively. Grant Scherf. You know, again, Oklahoma, big key today. Certainly anytime you play TCU, you have to keep ball and miles in front of it, forcing the shoot over the top. Sherfield from over the top. Being duress in a tough spot, but you notice Owe, an intelligent flash because he provided a window or a gap to receive the pass from Bijan Cortez. Speaking of gaps, a ball screen. They didn't do it in the first half. You have to use it and turn the corner. He does, and he was waiting on Godwin to make a choice. He never committed, so it allowed him all the way to the rim. Sherfield hits defensive possessions and a couple of good offensive possessions for making it interesting. A couple offensive rebounds for the Sooners. They cannot follow, but they have possession. And you're going to get a couple more exchanges, obviously, for TCU offense to defense and, and back and forth. They capture a little momentum here. You go that under four timeout. Sherfield wants it and gets it. Shows from close. Sherfield, who won almost 22 minutes without scoring, breaks the drought. Now has four points in the last two minutes. Very classy, but that, that was obviously a frustration incident. Team trails big, and he's fought with everything he has today. We'll finish the day, or maybe we'll add in the heart of the defense. And then when you do that, and they converge, then he's allowed to make the good decisions we see him make, even as a young freshman. And always slam is followed by a Miller three. But with the lead at 19, looks like it's too late for the Horn Frogs. Coming off a game where they led Texas wire to wire, OU led this game wire to wire over TCU. Flipping the script on Jamie Dixon and the guys. Clear in 